Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a little tip for you for the Black Ops 3 beta. That's if you aim down sights on your shotgun, you're actually going to tighten your pellet spread significantly. Right now you can see me shooting a wall and the pellets, as expected, more or less spread within their crosshairs. How they should love that sexy reload animation right there, how it kind of breaks open. But if you remember from Black Ops 2, when you aim down sights with your shotgun, it actually tightens up the pellet spread very significantly. And as you can already tell, it's the exact same here in Black Ops 3. Aiming down sights very, very, very significantly tightens your hip fire spread it's only about probably about 10 percent of the area of the other circle which makes it orders of magnitude more accurate and i'm out of bullets because i've been testing go fists of havoc i eh, couldn't quite fist of havoc but we're going to transition into some more normal gameplay here so that you can see the shotgun in action and i wanted to just tell you about this just so that you can have more fun with the bait and you know what you're doing and i'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd i like in-depth stuff but it's a great tactic you do need to have a kind of a balance because it does take time to aim down sights and it tightens up the pellet spreads so significantly that I would say that it truly doesn't spread very much so that if you aim down sights and miss with your shotgun you are going to completely miss the target and they're going to murder you the shotgun is rather slow on the pump action unless you put rapid fire on it which will be in a different video so you need to know when to hit fire and when to ADS generally speaking anytime they're not looking or anytime they're far away or anytime you just feel it's clutch and you absolutely must get the one-shot kill and you want to gamble being shot a time or two aim down sights if you need to keep moving if if you're, if you're relatively close range, if you feel it's not necessary, if you're just spraying, hip fire works great. And I would like to point out that this shotgun is beastly. This is a godlike shotgun. This is like the Remington 2.0, but on steroids. It's a very, I think it's the, actually statistically, I would bet that it's inferior to the Remington, just if I had to bet. I don't have the actual numbers in front of me. But due to the movement mechanics in this game, it allows me to position myself better, boost into people, jump down from above, kind of surprise them in a whole lot of ways that they're really not used to and I can murk people with the KRM 262 pump shotgun it is very very strong and I would highly recommend that you guys try it out too it's just it's just really a fantastic weapon I can't say much bad about it except it the pump action is a little bit slow and it does take a very very long time to level up to get any attachments even in the gameplay you see here I do not have the laser sight attached to it this is just normal all I have is quick draw and I think uh, am I running anything else on it no I was thinking fast mag but I didn't have that for unlocked for this gameplay either and it still works very well I don't even have long barrel long barrel is going to extend the damage range and the overall range and when I put you know the the laser sight on it that's going to tighten up the spread again and it's just going to be very very beastly so i would tell you to just don't overlook this shotgun it was terrible in the pre-alpha it was terrible in the alpha somebody and i think that somebody is prestigious key who complained very greatly about the shotguns being useless got under von's skin and he made this gun really good just this this is an actual competitor and a lot of you might be saying okay this gun is op this gun is broken and i do admit that it can be annoying but it's good to have a viable shotgun it really kind of sucks when you have a like call of duty game come out and the shotguns just suck they don't do anything they don't even compete with smgs they don't compete with pistols they don't even compete well in their own niche that's not true in black ops 3 the shotgun is amazing for close quarters combat it's a little bit rougher for groups of people because the pump animation is quite slow but it is a very good gun and you should take it very seriously the gameplay you're seeing me get right now is against optic midnight and miss 5000 watts and other streamers and youtubers and stuff like that so this is against higher end players this isn't like dumbos in a random lobby all of these are trained professionals and I'm going to tell you that I didn't work that hard for the gameplay, and that's not a boast in that I'm so amazing at Call of Duty, I smash other streamers without even trying. Woo, ego trip. No, we're not, we're not doing that today. It's more like the gun is just very good. It's a really, really good shotgun, and I really think you guys should give it a try and use it. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.